Are you ready for day seven of the 30 day animation challenge? Let's get started. In today's tutorial, I'm showing you these two different techniques for using the create an animation technique. So start off the blank page and I'm using the mobile video format, which is 1080 by 1920. I'm just going to use the word hi. Now letter, I want to be able to separate out the dot anyway. So the easiest way to add the circle is to go to elements. We're just down the size to what we want the circle to be and then we're just going to draw a box and make it the same colour as our background and then we'll go to position and bring it underneath the dot. In this way now we've created the letter I that we're going to use for part of the animation. So we roughly know what size we want our circle to be but we are going to duplicate the page but then on the first Page, we will delete the circle because we, we don't want it to appear just yet and we can add like a simple fade to come in on enter just to add a little bit of animation to that first slide and then for the second one we want to change the colour of the circle so it stands out from the rest of the text and we will have it sitting so it's just almost off the edge of the page but not quite now when we go up to animate, you'll see this one with the little B here saying create an animation. So when we create that animation, what we want to do is we want it to come down and sit above the high in a perfectly straight line. So I'm going to hold down shift and when I hold down shift you'll see that dotted line is in a perfectly straight line. And then what we can do is we can steady out the speed if your hand is a little bit wobbly we can also change the speed and it's coming in quite fast because the timing of the page is only 0.6 but if we make it 1.6 then you'll notice that the speed we can go back in and change a little so it's a bit slower like so and then we just want to remove the animation of the fade so that it doesn't remove animation and then we're just going to add a simple match and move and here so now when we play it from the start we have the high up here and then the dot move down into place and that's a really simple animation but it's one that's really effective now the last one if i just grab the text is really just to show you how we can create almost like a bouncing ball animation so this time if I just reduce the size so I can see the full page, I'm going to have the dot appearing from the left hand side of the page. I'm going to go back up to animate and again I'm going to use this create an animation. And this time when we want it to have more of a bouncing ball effect, so I don't want it to go in a straight line. So this time I'm going to kind of free draw it, curving around. Now if you don't get it right first time, you can always go back and delete the path and do it again and again we can steady out the animation so it goes at the same speed and we can increase it if we feel it's going a bit too slow i'm going to increase it a bit more just so it feels like bouncing ball and it goes much faster once we're happy with that we can click done and this time when we start to play the animation from the start it has a, this nice bouncing ball effect Make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you can catch all 30 of my tutorials in the 30 day animation challenge. Thanks for watching.